Hello and welcome to the 2016 Wine Massive DAS Championships, sponsored by Riley Sports Photography, brought to you in association with Wine Massive Productions. Bit of a special one tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joined here in the, the house of Ben, the Whistle White House. He's kindly invited us over. How are you today, Ben? Not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, feeling good actually. Feeling yeah, good. I, uh, did you be Fernando's, I believe? Yeah, be Fernando's. Had a quick practice earlier on the board yeah. and uh, the quick Nando's. Great, there we go. Excellent. Um, I mean, you know, I haven't asked yet, but. Uh, I'm sure the viewers would like to see a quick why Massive does cribs around the bottom floor. Yeah, that'd be yeah, great. Yeah, we that'd be great. Take, yeah, if you give us a quick guided tour, that'd, 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 uh, that'd be fantastic. Right in the house would be lovely. <laughs> so we've got uh, the, lamp, uh, the, the hallway area here. Yeah, oh, nice. Uh, nice. Harry Potter. A bit of the original artwork on the wall there. Oh, ben and all that. Yeah, the original artwork. We've got the, uh, the downstairs water closet. Just a little. Oh, spacious. Yeah, yeah, nice. Spacious. Just what you need. <laughs> Uh, got uh, this little Darcy. Some of my entourage chilling out, yeah. Laura, how are you? Yeah. Uh, are you coming to support Ben on the night, though? I think we'll give it a minute. Oh, that's fair enough, no worries. So, yeah, I'm sorry, I've been getting off a lot of people. Um, we've got the kitchen, um, you know, pretty spacious kitchen, yeah, nice dining area. Open plan. Oh, very open plan. Yeah. Extension here off the original build, so, yeah, takes it all together nicely. Oh, there we are, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Watching. Yeah. Darcy. Oh, thank you very much for that. Oh, I have to set this camera up again, I? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. There we are. Oh, is that? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, just before we start, um, I would like to just touch on something you obviously tweeted earlier. Not sure if your phone was. Uh, was hacked by Laura or whatnot. Uh, something about uh, a certain John Lewis not deserving to make the stage. I mean, well, uh, do you care to explain? Yeah, t to be honest with you, John, uh, it it's as simple as you lost your qualified to a quality data, um, Dan Fox, and I just don't think he deserves a second chance. Yeah, but you know, bear in mind I had a career threatening knee injury at the time, I haven't really had much chance to get on the practice board. It's not my problem. <laughs> um, Dan Fox beat you uh, fair and square, or so I've heard. Um, and, and he deserves his chance, and you don't deserve no well, chance. Well, that's fair enough. You've just got to bite the bullet there. Yeah, that's fair enough. You can't always be the bride. You're the bridesmaid in this thing. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough, yeah. Um, right, moving on. I'd like to firstly congratulate you for being the first non Manalo data Thanks. to ever make the, the finals night. Um, you know, there's a long list of great players who played yeah, in. You're the yeah. first man, not from the club Manalo. But uh, I say, it's one thing making the stage, there's another thing winning it. How do you think you're going to... What sort of impact is it you're going to make on the night? Just to uh, touch on the qualifying first, John, if I may. Uh, there's a vicious rumour going round that I didn't play any qualifying competition. Well, I was going to come to that after, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about it then. then. But uh, my chances, look, um, I'm certainly the underdog, but, um, you know, just like remember the Titans or Don <laughs> <laughs> The underdog always comes up trumps. <laughs> That's fair enough, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> So if you'd like to touch on the qualifiers then, um, obviously I was told, uh, Joe Park, I was told we are going to hold a qualifying event, apparently none of the dogs turned up and uh, <laughs> through he went, so could you like to talk me through what happened there? Yeah, um, once again, a vicious lie, uh, I played my darts um, <laughs> fair and square to be honest with you, and <laughs> uh, well, I don't know where that's come from, uh, it's, it's a disgusting lie we ever made up, John, to be honest with you. Um, I played my darts, I won fair and square, and uh, you, you're, um... Well, I know, obviously, uh, the facts would say different, but, you know, um, I'm sure we we'll have to get a, a message up to Joe Parkhouse. Yeah, Joe Parkhouse, yeah. if you're listening, mate, um, tell the truth about yeah, it. Yeah, great. Well, obviously, we're expecting a big event this year, sold out. Yeah. Uh, well, a few tables left, if you're looking to get a ticket, get in touch, why Massive DC on Twitter. Um, what do you think, obviously, without trying to sound too, uh, you know, you're a former cop, uh, Yeah, yeah. You're a... Uh, you know, you're a, now a referee. Yeah. You're not going to be on many people's Christmas cards list. That's true. Are, you know? yeah. No, I mean, that's true. That's true. You know, yeah. they're a nice crowd, but yeah. coppers and referees probably, you know. Yeah. How are we going to deal with that, you know, sore reaction you're going to get from the crowd? John, every week in, week out, I'm uh, running out in fields, a couple of thousand people there. I never get the best of reactions. It's not going to be any different on Saturday or next Saturday. So I'm just going to ride it like I normally do. Keep calm and composed and, and do what I do best. You know, you don't think that the fact, obviously, look at this beautiful house, uh, the WIU are playing quite well, obviously, I can see. But uh, no comment. Obviously, uh, you know, it's, this is just a, an amateur tournament. 
So you think you go going there for your own back, a lot of booze, you think that'll get to you? No, winning's winning, John. Um, winning's winning. Uh, that's what I'm going there for. I'm going to uh, go there to upset a few people um, and, and just go as far as I can. And, and to be honest, as far as I can, is uh, I'm going to win it. Oh, I love the confidence. I'm a uh, confidence man myself, Thanks. and I love that. Um, if you could describe yourself as one one of the current crop of dark as the MVGs, Phil Taylors, yeah. what sort of style, what sort of character would you say you would be? Um, who's the best? <laughs> probably, uh, I'll have to see this. Gary Anderson? Probably. Yeah, probably Gary Anderson yeah. type character, just, yeah. just like winning. Just like winning? You know, I mean, uh, I downloaded the Raspberry uh, Darts app. Oh yeah, very good. I've been playing against level four on the computer recently yeah. and, and, and beat... And beat <laughs> <laughs> Feeling pretty good, though. Yeah, level four, you know, that's a decent. Uh, I think it's ten levels. It's a, yeah, it's a decent standard, I suppose. Uh, uh, I, th- I think it's also called that. Uh, I think it's level four, and then in brackets, Foxy level. Fox, Foxy level. Yeah, Jesus, I think so. Put on a man who average one with three darts, but. But it, <laughs> anyway, is anyone in particular you know who's in the final now? Apart from the wild card, which isn't going to be revealed yet. Uh, anybody you'd like to face? Yeah, Foxy. Foxy. Yeah. Why, why is that? Um, I heard you couldn't throw a pass. <laughs> Man, a man can throw a party. Yeah, on the spot dart. Spot spot 100%. But, but again, a man who deserves his place. Yeah, he did beat a very formidable dart when he opened around. Who beat him? Um, uh, yeah, the boom boom. Oh, boom, boom. Yeah, boom sorry. boom Lewis. Yeah, I was a bit off form. But anyway, what we did, uh, we spoke to the, the boys in the group uh, and we asked them if there's any questions I'd like to. Uh, so I've got a couple of quick fire questions, a few normally, you know, one or two answers. Yeah. So I'm going to shoot here now. Um, first one is shoot, marry, or shag. Yeah. Damien, bigger, and Eaton. Um, shoot Eaton. Um, I think I'd uh, snog Damien. Um, it was he one of them? The shag. Oh, shoot. Shag or marry. Damien uh, or bigger. I think I'd shag Damien. He's a bit yeah. of a minx of a gap character. Yeah, that's I'd probably good. marry bigger. He's a slow, stable type of guy. Spot uh, Just, you know, he'd look after me in the house. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Penclough or Gouda? Uh, Penclough. Penclough? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Living out and for tax purposes. Tax yeah. <laughs> This one comes from Joel Young, captain of the youth team, just yeah. signed with Abraham. Congratulations, yeah, Joel. Congratulations uh, what are program. your views on the EU referendum up and coming? Uh, I, I'm for EU. Uh, it's lots of positives about it. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail, I'm not going to bore you, but uh, I, I'm all for it. Yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. Tom Fogman. Uh, Cod or FIFA? Uh, FIFA. FIFA, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Yes. Now, this one is a personal favourite. Silly question, I've ever asked it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember who did now, but. Uh, Right, Braveheart or Gladiator? Gladiator, not even a hesitation. I watched it a couple of weeks ago. Have you not seen Braveheart? I, I have, and I can, you know, I can relate to it some way. Mel Gibson, one of the finest Scottish accents you'll ever hear in that film. Yeah, I agree, um, for a non-native. Yeah. However, Gladiator was a fantastic film. Oh, well, great. You asked for my opinion. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, this one is a favourite of mine. Uh, pink or steak? <laughs> <laughs> Um, pink, pink unless it's a birthday. <laughs> oh, I wish you get Laura. I just, I just <laughs> <laughs> um, right then. Uh, Nigel Owens or Nigel Whitehouse? Ah, uh, depends what for. Uh, we we'll have got Nigel Whitehouse. Uh, he's put food on my table for many years, so uh, we're gonna have to back, uh, have to back uh, the old man. Nigel Ben or Nigel Mansell? Nigel Mansell, live life in the fast lane. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Nigel Farage or Nigel Winterburn? Oh, that's a tough one. Farage likes a pint. Farage likes a pint. Yeah. Obviously a big... He's a bitter man, he's like a, myself. He's a big EU exit, though, man, you know? Yeah, I, I, I'm not looking at that type of character he is, off mm. uh, off the field, shall we say. Yeah, yeah. He's a bitter man, likes a country pub like myself, and uh, type of guy. Nigel Winterburn, Arsenal legend. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my... Uh, Farage, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, right, I think that wraps up our quick-fire round, and... Uh, <coughs> I'd just like to ask you if there's anything you'd like to say to the fans who are watching this at home? No, uh, look, I'm not coming here just to take part. Um, I'm coming here to do some damage. Um, pray to God I get Foxy in the first round just to make sure I get a, you know, a couple more rounds of darts in me. Um, and I, I feel confident once I get my first match out of the way, John. Uh, just, just watch this space. Oh, yeah, great. Thank you very much for having us, Ben. Um, and that is it. So I'll see you on the 12th of yeah, March, Wednesday, 7 o'clock, doors open. Get your tickets on sale now. Thank you, Ben.